I attended the juvenile justice meeting last Friday, and uh, everything there is pretty much the same with the exception that juvenile probation and parole is uh, being consolidated with adult probation and parole, just for your information. Uh, I don't know how that's going to work, you know, when you take these little kids and I don't, they're, they're not going to be supervised together, but they're going to be in the same uh, department. And uh, Commissioner David Geis is going to be the head of uh, adult and juvenile for the state of North Carolina. Um, misdemeanors, and Mr. Parker Mike can address this later. I don't know if he's heard about this or not, but they're going to, a lot of the laws that governs misdemeanors are going to be defunded, decriminalized. So some of these uh, guys that's been going to prison for certain misdemeanor cases will not be going now. So Wayne County Jail will be filled up again maybe. Uh, but just, just for information purposes. Uh, we just established a Wayne County Detention Advisory Board. And uh, we met, uh, as Mr. Mayo said last week, uh, the 10th of uh, September, uh, very good meeting. Uh, there's one individual that we're at the meeting, Mr. Scott Peel, uh, is not a member of that committee, but we want to recommend Mr. Chairman that he be appointed to that committee today. So everybody on the board will be appointed as of today. And uh, I want to put that in the form of a motion. Thank you, Mr. Bell. Motion's on the floor by Mr. Bell to appoint Mr. Scott Peel to the board, to the um, detention center board. Any discussion? All those in favor, raise your hand. All those opposed, that is unanimous. Thank you. Okay. Mr. Bell. Uh, further information about the uh, detention center. Uh, as you know, Wayne Community, uh, Wayne Correctional Center, so I said Wayne Community College is going to be closed. It's not true. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne Correctional Center okay, is going to be closed. Uh, I think the last inmates are going to be leaving on the 26th of uh, October. And uh, what we have done, we've made contact with all of our local legislators, also Mr. David Geis, uh, Mr. Uh, Solomon in Raleigh, uh, trying to get permission to uh, go out and visit that center along with uh, the Sheriff Department. And uh, the legislators made a recommendation to me that we submit a uh, resolution ASAP. And uh, Mr. Uh, Parker uh, have written a resolution requesting that we uh, take over that center as soon as it's uh, vacated by the uh, prison department. And uh, we also want to ask Mr. Uh, Smith uh, and staff if they would do uh, RFQ uh, qualification for assessment of the Wayne Correctional Facilities. And once that's done, we ask them to bring it back prepared after you prepare a formal a recommendation to be brought back to the county commission for recommendation consideration and uh the resolution uh we will read at a later as soon as we get down to that point but we hope that we can uh, get this center uh from the department of uh, prison division of prison uh at one time we were talking about building what mr price mr smith a 65 to 70 million dollar jail and i'm pretty sure we can remodel this jail for a lot less, uh, many, many million dollars less. So that's going to be saving the county quite a bit of money if we can get it. And uh, it's going to save us from having to transport uh, inmates out of county. Uh, this jail will hold about 400 people, at least that many. And take that with the 200 that we already have, that's about 600 people that we can house. So uh, we're going to be asking the commissioners to uh, take this under consideration and hopefully that we can get this done in short order. Thank you, Mr. Uh, do we need to put this in the form of a motion about the if the, RFQ? You're, Mr. Mr. Bell, you certainly are uh, welcome to do that at this time if you'd okay. like. Okay, we, that's, we, I'm gonna put that in the form of a motion. Motion's on the floor then uh, by Mr. Bell to have the county manager to draw up an RFQ. Uh, can you have a date on that since time is of the essence? Would you like to give us a date? Meeting. We'll have a committee meeting before 
-hmm. and then have the committee actually do a formal recommendation on October 1st. Good. Okay. okay. RFQ then. Motion on the floor with Mr. Bell have an RFQ uh, brought, brought about by the, the county manager and be presented back to the board October 1 in discussion. All those in favor, raise your hand. All those opposed, that's unanimous. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bell.